So, this is the new wife and kids and guest sled. It's a 2001 Arctic Cat ZL600 with uh, variable exhaust valves and Arctic Cat power valves. It's got those ride effects shocks. There's barely any sag. You got a little rust, it's not too bad. Plastic skis, carbides are mint. Mirrors cam standard, E start and reverse. I don't have the battery in there right now, I'm charging it, but uh, it does work. We used the booster pack when I picked it up, it did start. Those ride effect shocks, there's very little sag. Clean up the paint on those spindles and A arms. It's pretty clean, it's got 54,094. Oh, nope, 5,494 miles on it. It should be just over 8,000 kilometers. It's got a Cobra windshield. I would imagine that's aftermarket. The seat's got a few rips in it. It's going to be the only thing I'm going to have to replace that's not just wear and tear. I'm going to clean up that uh, back plate above the bumper. It's losing a bit of paint. <sighs> Track isn't too bad, it's three quarter inch, it's studded. Studs have uh, seen some wear, but I mean, that's to be expected. It's a trail sled anyway. If I have to, eventually I'll replace the track, but I don't think so. You got some cracks, it sat for a couple of seasons in the sliders, but that's wear and tear. I'm gonna replace the sliders, I'll pull the skid and I'll do all the bearings and the idler wheels and the sliders. Double check the uh, Suspension doesn't have much sag at all in the back. Let's see if you can see that it's down right now. Basically, no sag, which is pretty impressive for uh, 2001. Inside, we see the APV 600 Suzuki Arctic Cat engine. This, is, I think, is the second year of this engine. In 2000, they did the variable, uh, sorry, the uh, Arctic Cat power valves with Suzuki, and I think 2001 they just kind of changed the exhaust porting and uh, a few other minor alterations, but otherwise it's the same 600 APV reliable engine. It's fuel injected, don't have to mess around with carburation, which is nice. Uh, it's new enough that the fuel injection doesn't require the battery to be in it to run. Y pipe's in good shape, no cracks. Maybe clean it up with some uh, high temperature paint. That's the rod. Starter runs on the primary. Kicks across with this little flexible rod. I think Polaris does this these days too. And the starter sits over here. This cable here I'm noticing is missing a tie wrap or something. This is for the uh, cluster and the speedometer. I think I'm going to uh, just make sure I tie wrap that down. Clutches seem good. No deco belt. Sheaves are actually pretty nice. Weights slide pretty good. There's a little corrosion on the inside on that spring, the primary, but it's really not too bad. I will pull start it because the battery's charging right now in the shed here. But a new seat is something I'll need and uh, it looks like I'm gonna need this little cover here. The one on this side looks like it's a pop-off cover. I doubt that's gonna be too hard to find. This is your reverse forward, mechanical reverse chain case. Uh, that's where my battery goes, but it's not in there. Actually, uh, brake pads aren't too bad. Um, they look relatively new. It doesn't look like I'll have a problem with that. And uh, it's got this, already, this uh, ACDC keychain that came with it. So you know a real badass used to own it. Probably get rid of that. It's smoking like a two-stroke smokes. Guy's just been putting a uh, regular shell two-stroke oil in that. I will probably 
switch to uh, some kind of synthetic uh, APV. I might even have some. No, I got rid of it when I got rid of my Arctic Cat, but I'll get another uh, jug of uh, APV oil. Came with the uh, pre-wired uh, heat shield. Yeah, that's it. It's got this uh, two-tone paint job. So it's kind of strange. If you look at it from this side, it's a purple sled. But if you look at it from this side, it's a green sled. Kind of black halfway in between in the middle, depending on how you look at it. All in all, not a bad deal for 1300 bucks. My 17,000 children are gonna have a good time with that. Realistically, four children. Three girls, I doubt all of them are gonna be uh, into riding it. My oldest turns 12 this year. She'll be able to get a uh, Ontario snowmobiler license, so I'll put a trail pass on this. She can ride with me. She can uh, put her sister on the back. And my only guy, he's uh, four months old right now, but I mean, come winter time, that's only three months away, I'm sure he'll ride on it. <laughs> all right, so that's a 2001 ZL600 EFI, just picked up used. It's gonna be the spare sled for my wife, kids, and guests.